Hey guys, hope you are all having a fantastic day. Today we saw a really good performance coming from both GameStop and AMC, even if the latter was the only one that was able to maintain the high. I want to talk about why we saw a general bounce up in these two stocks, but that won't be the focus. Instead, we will hyperfocus on cryptocurrencies, and why the current state of the crypto market is so closely correlated to GameStop and AMC. That's right, we are going to go all out today on theory and analysis, so be sure to put your tin foil hats. I want to thank all people that showed up to this morning's video. The Pandora Papers have been a gold mine of information and I am glad so many of you have shown interest in it. Today's video is a big DD drop piece, so expect a wrinkle or two to form up. Please let me know what you thought of the video once you finish it in the comments below. I want to know what you guys think of what we are about to discuss. Before we begin, let me quickly state that I am not a financial advisor, and that all content discussed in this channel is simply information gathered that I deem important for people to know, so that they can make informed decisions. All efforts are aimed to better understand the nature of the current market in anticipation of the greatest squeeze in financial history. Let's get started. So, what happened today that we not only got to see GameStop and AMC bouncing up, but the general market as a whole? Well, banks reported strong results while data on labor markets soothed Wall Street about the outlook for higher rates. Data showed the number of Americans filing new claims for unemployment benefits fell to a 19-month low. Producer prices also eased in the month of September. I know a lot of banks set aside billions of dollars last year in case that consumers and business loans would sour, but given all the leeway granted to them by the government and the Fed, credit quality remained strong, and banks are seeing a big boost in their profits. As you can see, there is this weird out-of-place sentiment being spread that inflation is all of a sudden handled. What this is, to make it smooth for you, is a similar situation for when you are having a bad day but then have a great meal. It just feels great for a couple moments, and then you realize that nothing has been fixed, and that banks having good performance doesn't mean anything, especially given that they just got a boost because of the no-risk scenario they were placed and catered in by the Fed and government. Nothing exemplifies this better than White House Chief of Staff Ron Klain endorsing claims that the country's inflation, supply chain and other economic problems only affect a small part. In fact, it makes even more sense considering the SEC will return to a policy of requiring companies involved in settling civil enforcement actions to admit wrongdoing. Big shout out to Nick Ruggia for linking me this. I wanted to make a separate video for it but it's better that we talk about it now in relation to what we discussed. The SEC seems to have listened to my morning videos, and are now apparently pushing for admission of guilt in certain cases with the belief that they will strengthen the deterrent value of enforcement actions and increase public trust in financial and government institutions. Gerbir Grawal, who directs the SEC's Division of Enforcement, said and I quote, when it comes to accountability, few things rival the magnitude of wrongdoers admitting that they broke the law. Admissions, given their attention-getting nature, also serve as a clarion call to other market participants to stamp out and self-report the misconduct, to the extent it is occurring in their firm. As you might imagine, already firms in Wall Street are yelling and calling this unfair. This change gives leeway for investors and other parties to file litigation claiming that they were harmed by wrongdoing. This is a great change by the SEC that we must applaud and encourage. Big shout out to Gary Gensler and to Gerbir Grawal for doing what is right. Crypto is the fourth potential catalyst for the squeeze, and now we know how. It can erupt from China exposing Tether, or Tether being exposed by further regulatory oversight from the SEC once they get their hands on it. It's all a ticking time bomb, and the SEC wants wrongdoers to be admit wrongdoing. You bet your panties, Lambos and Tendies that I will be suing every Wall Street institution after the squeeze. Everything is making sense now. I am so jacked right now that I have no more words to say. Girls, I will be accepting bra donations from here on out. Let me know what you guys think of all of this in the comments. Now, let's talk about today. The Fed submitted over $1.445 trillion in reverse repo operations for the day. Dark pool trades for AMC accounted for 61% of the total volume today, while GameStop's dark pool trades accounted for 45% of the total volume today. According to Fidelity data, sell order flow for AMC was larger than the buy order flow, with GameStop most likely experiencing a larger amount of buy order flow than its sell order flow. Let's now talk about performance. AMC traded bullish today, gaining over 5%. It began trading with a slightly bullish inclination during the pre-market. 
Once the markets opened, AMC started running, eventually reaching 40.75. It then retraced a bit and consolidated for a long time before breaking resistance and running up to 41.10. It was then met with a clear short ladder attack before slowly bouncing up, closing at 40.07, above the VWAP. As for tomorrow, shorters will want the price below $40 so expect a battle here. Resistance at 41.07 and 42.11 should be expected while support will be at 38.85, 37.57 and 36.12. I am bullish and hope AMC consolidated above 40. GameStop traded bearishly, loosing under 1%. GameStop had a fantastic run, opening with some volatility that took it from 183 all the way to 190. It was then met with a short attack that lasted for pretty much the rest of the day. Towards the last couple of minutes of trading, GameStop had a bullish bounce that led it to a closing price of 183.83, below the VWAP. As for tomorrow, GameStop is looking really good. A thing to note is that today we also experienced a higher low. We are reaching and building momentum to break that 188 resistance wall. Support will be at 183, 178.44 and 175. Resistance will be at 174, 188 and then 195. I am super bullish on this stock right now. And that is all I have for you today. Thank you all for making it to the end of the video. Let me know your thoughts and opinions down in the comments. Today was a very DD wrinkly video, so let me know what you guys think. I hope to see you guys tomorrow for the morning video. If you don't mind and found the video fun and useful, feel encouraged to hit the like. If you want to support this channel guys, I have a Patreon link in the description as well as some one-time donation links for Cash App and PayPal. Thank you again for being a part of this channel. I will continue striving for better content. Enjoy the rest of your day and to the moon.